Okay, good day everybody. Mike here. Got another little product to show you that I've been playing around with a bit. This is called the Hammond Game Getter. It's basically a, a buckshot conversion device for your hunting rifle. Uh, so you can shoot just regular uh, sized buckshot pellets using 22 caliber nail gun blanks as a power source and uh, these are made by a fellow in Edmonton Alberta named Brian Hammond and I have been stopping by Brian's table at the gun shows ever since I was about 18 years old so many 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 years Anyway, this was always a product that really interested me because I wasn't uh, interested in hand loading at the time. But now I have one and now I'm interested in hand loading and it's all still interesting to me. So basically uh, I have two of them here. So uh, this one is a 308. You can see the back of the shell has a special insert that's been manufactured to accept 22 caliber nail gun blanks these are an older style you probably can't get anymore most of the newer ones will have uh, you know a crimped uh, tight end on them and they come in different power levels uh, I think they advertised four power levels now. At one time there might have been up to four, five or six different power levels. Um, you have to experiment to see which ones are going to work best. Now the little kit comes with the, the little yellow box. It comes with a small sample of buckshot pellets, I think 10 or something like that. And it also comes with uh, a sizing mandrel uh, particular to each different caliber. Now I have two here. This is a 308 and this is a 243. And he makes them in in many many different calibers. Now these ones you just drop the uh, the 22 caliber you know blank in the back of and it's offset so the firing pin will hit it. Uh, correctly. I'm not sure which camera is getting a good look at that, but um, he makes ones for 223 and I think 762 by 39, and they're a little bit different. They have a, a removable insert so that you install the uh, blank cartridge into the casing uh, it sits a little bit deeper and then you put the plug back in the back of the case and it's got an offset uh, pin on it in order to discharge the blank uh, I haven't bothered to buy one of them yet and I'm not sure if I will this is the kind of product that really is probably most interest to people that are not hand loading because you can overcome all these problems or design features just by hand loading uh, correctly and you can do basically the same thing. Now the uh, 308 one uses uh, I think single or double lot uh, buckshot pellets and the uh, 243 one, let me just get one of these out of the way now comes with a little set of instructions as well and he does have a website there's his uh, information Let's see if it'll focus anyway okay we'll get that out of the way <coughs> now uh, the 243 one I have shot this and it was accurate enough out of my uh, Remington Model 7 um, 
I think I shot it at about 25 yards and it worked it worked really very well now these are pre-sized I I've already pushed them through the sizer although I've got the APP now as well that I could use and uh, you can see there's a little bit of a, a flare on the top of the case so that uh, you can just drop the the pellet in the end of it and load it up and chamber it and uh, that way you can you know you can shoot uh, small game when you're hunting uh, you know when you're deer hunting I don't think very many of us want to use a full power rifle round meant for deer on uh, you know on a grouse or rabbit or something like that a lot of guys probably might just pass up on the small game but whenever I hunted I never ever <laughs> ever passed up on the small game now uh, as you saw maybe in one of my other videos I've, I've also uh, taken to sizing buckshot with my APP press pushing it through multiple different sizers um, until I could get it all the way down to 244 caliber and uh, it's possible you know I guess that you could load these up as well um, I still haven't done it yet though because the difference is you know this is quite a bit heavier of course because it was made with a much larger buckshot pellet than uh, these ones which are number three which are very very difficult to get um, the bearing surface on the round sized pellet is much less than the bearing surface on one of these so I haven't yet shot any of these pellets um, which I may try out of a regular you know a regular rifle case as well with a minimal powder charge I haven't yet decided uh, now these things they don't need uh, any lube at all you just pop them in the end of the case and chamber it and fire away um, but these ones I think they might benefit from you know being lubricated so I guess you could do that with uh, Lee uh, Alox or Alox um, no doubt you could powder coat them uh, I have a uh, can luring tool and I kind of considered maybe putting one or two or three you know can lures on there to uh, hold a little bit of uh, lubricant last thing I want to do though is get one stuck in my barrel I realize it's not a really big deal but I'm just not into pounding pellets out of my barrel so there's that option as well for projectiles uh, aside from the, the traditional sized you know buckshot now um, it does come with a pretty extensive construction sheet um, let's see uh, see he tells you right here the different uh, sizes of, of buckshot that you would use for each caliber you know for a 223 one you want to use a number four buck pellet 243 you want to use a number three uh, looks like 257 25 odd 6 250 Savage 264 6.5 mil you would use a number two buck pellet which also would be kind of difficult to get uh, 270 7 mil uh, uses a number one buckshot pellet uh, 30 cal 303 uh, 8 millimeter you can use a looks like double lot uh, maybe a single lot for the smaller ones uh, Nenny also starts giving round ball sizes for some of the larger calibers like uh, say a three 358 
you'd use a 375 round ball and then you'd size that. Each kit does come with a sizer. And I'll be honest, I don't really remember what he charges for these uh, kits. They're it's on his website. I don't remember. So uh, he even gives you instructions, I think, on how to repair the case. Uh, you know, how to resize it and flare it, pro you know, appropriately so that uh, you can continue to use it over a length of time. And uh, you know what? There are at least two videos on YouTube that I've found of people testing these things and I'll, if I can remember to I'll put a link in the description of the those two particular videos and you can you can see as far as uh, velocity goes uh, the gray uh, blanks which are the ones that are they're not really available uh, these days that I can find they're the lowest power uh, looks like uh, you know, in a 30 odd six, you're looking at 325 feet per second with the gray blank, and then 690 with the brown, uh, 865 with the green, and then uh, just under under uh, supersonic around 1025 with the yellow. And I think it either mentions in here or he told me at his table when I was talking to him that they don't necessarily work best with the most powerful blank. You have to do some testing. Um, like I say, I have shot this one and I got a more than acceptable, you know, group of, I don't know, maybe a two inch group. Now the one thing, uh, that happened when I was testing them is I didn't I got on or I, I got kind of all messed up and you know you got to be organized if you're going to test stuff and make notes and take pictures and stuff but you can see around the rim here it's kind of chewed up a little bit um, it's not really damaged in any way that it won't be usable however one of these and I can't remember which one because I shot all three of them was very 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 difficult to remove um, you know because basically you fire it and then once you pull it out you stick a little punch in here you know and knock the the blank out but uh, it wasn't you know it wasn't just a little tap and have the blank fall out I mean one of these I, I think it was the more powerful one uh, it took a quite a pounding with a nice long stemmed punch you know to get the the blank cartridge out although it did work there was really no issues with you know whether it uh, was going to work or not now the whole idea behind this of course is so that you can have have this in your pocket you know ready to go so that when you're deer hunting if you want to take a shot at a grouse or a rabbit or something and you don't want the echo of a full power rifle round uh, back and forth through the valley uh, you can use this for anybody who's hand loading there's lots of other ways to get around that so I, I think this is mainly geared towards somebody who just wants to buy a box or two of regular hunting ammo and then uh, and then one of these for taking small game which is you know my main interest as far as shooting goes i guess that's it for now have a great day everybody if you have any questions put them in the comments i'll try to answer them Mike out.